good evening students trust you are doing okay yeah i'll continue from where i stopped we want to go into the first topic in ss2 the first topic in ss2 so we move into the first topic in ss2 if you check my youtube channel presenter tutorial you will see that i've started ss1 topic already and uh, as a student we're just coming in into ss2 class in physics you know that the first topic in xx2 is actually position distance and displacement ss2 okay ss2 topic this is so relevant to those who are preparing for wyek and jam uh and nicola as well so the topic is the uh, position distance and displacement okay okay so that's it so we need to know what position is we need to know what distance is and we also need to know what displacement is obviously these are simple concepts that we just need to understand okay uh, talking about a location of a point or an object with uh, respect sorry to a reference point so a position is simply a location and this location is a location of a point and it must have a reference point okay so the position of a point in space is defined in terms of distance of the object from the reference point okay <clears throat> and that reference point there's a name we call it it is called the origin okay it is called the origin okay so typically we have various types of uh, coordinate system we have various types of coordinate system okay so we have what we call the Cartesian coordinate system, the cylindrical coordinate system, we have the spherical coordinate system. Uh, but most of the time, I don't think you've ever heard of the cylindrical. Uh, probably in your SS1 or SS3, even some SS3 students probably may not have had or uh, even the spherical coordinate system. The one that we hear every now and then, even from our GSS level, is a Cart Cartesian coordinate system Cartesian coordinate uh, system and that's something like this when we say Cartesian I mean something like this so you have something like this okay looking like a rectangle okay so you have the position of the point uh, in this particular thing is well defined so you have here we can take this one to be our origin and then of course you know that here is your y axis here is your y axis and here is your what your x axis that's your x axis so we have our y axis and then we have our x axis so if you are given let's say something like this now you have this now and then let's assume that you have a uh, here uh let's take this place to be our our p and let's take this one to be our q okay so you could take what we what we have here now and then you take it that way you take it this way you take it down when you do that this point becomes what it becomes pq and then you have it that way this is so simple i mean i'm, I'm very sure you know that it is quite simple so uh in your work um do not expect a serious question from here do not expect a very serious question from me just that it's good you know what we mean by uh, what we mean by position and a question can be asked you can be asked a question uh where they ask you okay um before you can even solve the question you would have understood what distance is you would have also understood what a displacement is 
so what do we call a distance i think uh, i can say that distance uh, is just a kind of position uh, between two points right a position between two points okay so a distance is a position between space between two points okay this is a point and then you draw this is another point okay this is a point and this is another point from year to year the distance so maybe you say two kilometer i'm just putting it that way okay so it means that distance is actually a scalar quantity what that means is that it does not have direction it also it only has magnitude okay and of course what is the unit of distance the unit of distance is in meter the distance is in meter what then is displacement if distance is uh, a space between two points what is displacement okay let me let me define displacement what differentiate displacement and distance is that one is a vector quantity while the other is a scalar quantity one is a vector quantity while the other is a scalar quantity one is a what one is a vector quantity and why the other is a scalar quantity so a displacement therefore i like to define displacement this way that is a distance displacement is a distance distance moved in a specified direction distance move in a specified direction that's how i like to define a uh, displacement and of course <laughs> you know that it's a vector quantity okay it's a vector quantity uh meaning it has magnitude and also it has direction okay so what should you be expecting uh here okay sometime you might want to know the distance between two points on the cartesian plane this is actually a mathematics topic okay you want to know distance between two points on a cartesian plate cartesian plane rather like i showed you earlier i showed you showing you a point p and also showing you a point q the other time so the distance between two uh points on a cartesian plane uh is given generally as our d we know that this is actually mathematics now s square minus x1 so you have this and then you square here and then you have y square minus y1 then you also square here okay so a classic example can be calculate the distance <laughs> Calculate the distance. Hello, dear. Somebody is calling you, please. Calculate the distance. Between the two points. The two points we have our u point and then here we have three five and then we have our v point Sorry about that. A call actually came in, so I'm not ready to take the call now. Now, so you have the V, the U, and the V. So the V here, let's uh, let's look for a value to use. So we can take it to be, let's say, two here, and let's say we have a uh, six here. Yes. So for us to calculate this. 
we have to know the point u solution the point u so the u is what now the u we have x1 we have y1 and then the v we have what x2 we have y2 so you can easily go down this question so what do we do now our u what is our x1 that is 3 and what is our y1 that is what um, that is uh, what now our our x1 is 3 okay and then our y1 is 5 and then our x2 is 2 our y2 is 6 so we can now substitute to the formula we have there so substituting to the formula we have our s square our x2 rather minus x1 so what is my x2 that's 2 minus x1 what is my x1 that's 3 so you square it and then you come to the second one what is Sorry, the call is still calling me. So now, then we have y2. What's our y2? Our y2 is 6. Our y1 is 2. Then you square it. So by the time you do that correctly, this one will give you minus 1 all square and then this one will give you 4 all square and then you have at the end of the day square root of 17 you can find the square root of 17 and you get a particular answer so that shouldn't be an issue at all so you could find it and you get an answer okay so now again sometimes you can also be asked to find uh, more than just two points you could have more than one two point you could have three points and in that case if you have two points kindly understand that it means that here you're going to have if you have more than two points it means that you will have to add z so you could now have z to minus z1 if you have three point all square so there's a square here please square up here i'm not able to write it there okay there's a square there what happened to my video so there's a square there Okay, so there's a square there, and then that's when if you are asked about that. Okay, I'm sure that is very, uh, very, very clear. Thank you. So let's go to let's go to the next thing. The next thing we need to know is. The next thing we need to know, I'd already explained that um, that's the difference between physics, uh, between distance and displacement. So if you are asked, kindly know what to say, the difference between distance and displacement. Okay, so on your own, uh, you need to do this. On your own, you need to find this. Let's say, for example, uh, this is like classwork you're free to submit question one you have adi rides a motorcycle 12 kilometer g 
zero is due east and later 15 kilometer due south calculate the total distance that's one figure one two calculate the magnitude of a displacement calculate the magnitude of a displacement calculate the magnitude of a displacement another question that you you may need to try is that okay uh, let's say you have you are given given the coordinates given the coordinates So let's use okay we have determine the distance hello dear who are me Come and take this girl as affected. Is that, please come and carry her. She has broken something here. The class is already the voice. This all this thing has affected what I'm recording. I just need to do what I told you that time. Between point P and Q so we are given the coordinates so here you make use of the formula that we talked about so that will bring this topic to an end thank you